my mother kind of played it off like it's no big deal. We got this thing early, we're all gonna be okay. But it wasn't until she contracted the disease a second time that we really got, really got very serious. And that was when I took over the West Springfield coaching position of exactly the same day, in fact. It eventually took its toll on me from an emotional standpoint. And that's when I communicated with my team and let them know that I was really working in these two very challenging situations. He stepped up when we needed him the most. And the fact that he could step up for us and his mom at the same time just inspired all of us to do the best that we could. That's when everything changed. I knew that they could do something to, to motivate my mother to get in the right mindset to get her to fight the disease. She didn't show up uh, to any matches until we were in the uh, district championships. And when my kids saw that my mother was in the audience, they fought so much harder to win. And we beat a team that we had no business beating at all. My team kept fighting for her all the way up until one game from being the state tournament. The year after the 2004 season was the year we started the foundation while my mother was alive because we wanted to start it on something that was miraculous and joyous and positive. In the beginning, we started out hosting grass doubles tournaments, and in 2008, we decided to expand. So we went from being a local charity raising between $25,000 and $50,000 a year to being a half a million dollar charity almost instantaneously. We wanted those dollars to be allocated for metastatic research. It was, let's raise money, and then let's take that money and have our own trial be funded with this. The special part of Side Out is that we're doing a better job of matching a treatment uh, with the patient's particular cancer. Finding a, a, a molecule, a protein on the cell that is that cell's liability, its Achilles heel, and then going after it with the right drug to accomplish that. That's what we look at when we think about attacking a very challenging part of the disease and trying to do a clinical study, we decided to be focused so that our sport can get credit for having done something spectacular. Sports unite so many of us. As kids, we learn about working together being able to depend on one another. We learn about and get to demonstrate leadership. Rick Dunitz turned his love of sports into a career, leading the West Springfield, Virginia High School girls volleyball team to their first ever championship. In 2004, Rick learned that his mother, Gloria, had an incurable form of breast cancer. That's when he applied his love of sports against one of humanity's toughest opponents. As you saw in the film, it turned out to be one heck of a match. Today, 3,000 volleyball teams from all across the United States and overseas host events for the Side Out Foundation, raising more than $9 million for cutting edge breast cancer research to benefit metastatic breast cancer patients. And in service to his mother's memory, Rick knows his work, like our work isn't over. Let's all celebrate Rick Dunnitz and the Side Out Foundation, recipient of the 2015 Research and Hope Community Champion Award. Rick? <laughs> Thank you, Ken, uh, and thank you, Phar Pharma, for such an amazing honor. I'd like to start off with a little poem. I wrote it when I was nine years old. I wrote it for my mother. My mother sells antiques, you know. She buys them fast and sells them slow. Her compacts and her metal trays get sold while sitting in her chaise. My mother had a tremendous love for buying and selling antiques and the last time I was here in Mellon Auditorium, it was to help her set up a booth for the local Art Deco antique show. 
That was over 12 years ago, before she was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. When she was first diagnosed, her oncologist labeled her disease as terminal. Man, did she hate that term. It meant there was nothing else the doctors could do. It meant her time was running out. And my mom was really frustrated. You see, for most stage four patients, all they really want is more time. When the foundation first started, she asked me to find a way to buy her 10 more years of life. And I tried to do just that. In the sport of volleyball, the term side out means regaining control of the ball. Similarly, the Side Out Foundation helps people with breast cancer regain control of their lives, giving them more time to live. We team with the volleyball community to inspire science and hope in the match against breast cancer. Now, I probably don't have to tell you that there are far bigger sports than volleyball, sports that also raise lots of dollars for cancer treatment and patient services. But here's how we're unique. We've shown that amazing advances can come from small, driven teams. In 10 short years, we've raised close to $10 million through grassroots work with volleyball players, coaches, and families. And that money has gone directly to funding our own clinical trials called the Side Out Protocol that treat metastatic cancer in innovative and breakthrough ways based not on the type of cancer, but on its molecular architecture. This gets us better therapy prediction and better results and closer to removing the word terminal from our cancer vernacular. Since only a small percentage of all cancer research funding goes towards metastatic cancer, our volleyball community, in essence, is fighting for the underdog. And I'm happy to say it's working. Sidot's trials have dramatically slowed the effects of metastatic breast cancer, giving patients years of quality time with their families and getting them closer to the day we find a cure. That's why I'm so pleased to share today that we are in the process of expanding our Sidot protocol tripling the number of patients in our trials, and working with 10 major treatment locations across the country. Here in this grand hall, I feel so honored that Side Out is being awarded alongside all of these amazing recipients. And I am proud of what the volleyball community has accomplished. Yet I also feel more driven than ever, and what I know about teamwork comes into focus. As volleyball coaches, every day we encourage our players to work hard and work together, and each player has a specific role to help the team win. We in the cancer community have this opportunity to work together more closely to win our match against this dreaded disease. In fact, we must. But we don't have to wait. Our experience at Side Out is proof that working hard, working together, and staying focused on the win can produce incredible results. It can even save lives. We are going to win this match. And if you're as excited as we are about the possibilities, you've got a spot on our team. Let's work together to change the game in cancer treatment and make a terminal diagnosis a thing of the past. Thank you. <laughs>